Hello and welcome to the first vlogging episode of Flames and Games. Today we're going to talk about my thoughts on the new characters in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. First character I'm going to talk about is Dark Samus, who is a Echo Fighter or a clone character of the original Samus. She pretty much is a stronger Samus and with new animations and different attributes within her attacks. But I think she's a great addition because not only do we need more villains, but we also need more Metroid uh, reps in the Smash Bros. series. Um, next is Daisy, who is another Echo Fighter of Peach. She's just a stronger Peach. And I feel like she's a good addition because I feel like we should fill up the main Mario cast. I know that's going to anger a lot of Waluigi fans, but anyways, a lot of people like Daisy as a character. Others, probably not, but still, I think she's a good character to add in the game. Next is Krom from Fire Emblem. And although... I hate the fact that we have more Fire Emblem reps than Zelda reps in Smash. I feel like he's okay, because a lot of people wanted him in in the previous Smash game, which was Smash 4, uh, 3DS and Wii U. Um, he pretty much, he's an echo for Roy, which is pretty weird, because he has the moves of Ike and Marv, so you'd think he's an echo of Marth or I, you know, but I guess not. Um, Ken, who is a Ryu clone, is in the game, and I thought he was a great addition. He was definitely needed because you know, like, it's kind of weird to have Ryu without Ken, and Ken's a really cool Street Fighter uh, character. You know, he's. He has some things that differentiates himself from Ryu, like his Fire Shoryuken. But um, honestly, since Sakurai gave him his focus attack and his multi-hit spin kick, or his Tatsumaki Senpukaku, uh, um, he doesn't really look like an Echo Fighter Ryu. He looks more like his own character, a semi-clone, uh, which is pretty much... <clears throat> A clone of a character that doesn't fully copy the character that they're copying. They just take certain elements of that character and just copy them that way. Like Luigi, and Dr. Mario, and Lucas, for example. Um, <clears throat> next, we're going to get to our first actual character who isn't a clone, and that is Inkling from the Splatoon series. This... I feel was an excellent addition for Sakurai to add because Splatoon is a really popular series here in the West and especially in Japan. I really like the fact that their ink uh, lowers the enemy's defense, <clears throat> so that's always really nice. Uh, Ridley, he looks very, very, very busted. Like his his attacks are broken, but. At the same time, I feel like he was a great addition because not only was he a highly requested character since Smash Melee, which is the second Smash Bros. game in the series, <clears throat> but we're getting more Metroid reps and more villains, so that's perfect. And he's a heavyweight, <laughs> but he's fast too. Um, the next character or characters um, is Simon and his Echo clone slash echo fighter Richter Belmont so the Belmonts are in the game from the Castlevania series I really like that they're in too because they're also well, not Richter but Simon Belmont he's he's highly requested he was a highly requested character it's just people thought he wasn't gonna get in along with Snake because you know Konami their reputation went drastically down nowadays like very horrible but yeah, here they are. Some things on them, I feel like they have 
the most range in the whole game so far, and they look very OP because of that. Um, next is King K. Rule from the Donkey Kong series, and again, we're getting more villains, more heavyweights, so I feel like he was a perfect rep. Excuse me. I feel like he's a perfect rep because he's a villain too, and he was another highly requested character. And he's this is his triumphant return since a Mario game. That's his last appearance. Not a Donkey Kong game. A Mario game was his last appearance. His was his latest appearance besides Smash Ultimate. Um, I feel like he's gonna be a mid-tier heavyweight, honestly. Next we have Incineroar. Honestly. I kind of feel iffy on Incineroar. Like he looks fun to play as. Don't get me wrong. He was a nice addition, but I don't know. I just didn't like that he was added because it's just like out of all the Pokemon, I would have chosen Decidueye, not Incineroar. Finally, we have our last character, Piranha Plant from the Mario series. I'm not joking. Piranha Plant. The little plants that come out from the pipes that eat Mario. Yeah, the, that thing. That's a character. And Sakurai, Sakurai told us. He could have gave us any character that was requested. Gino. Could have gave us Shantae. Could have gave us Shovel Knight. No, here's a plant. Here's a plant. There you go. But, um, yeah. Those are my thoughts on all the new characters. And I hope you were excited as I am, because I want you guys to remember this. Bear the torch against the cold of the night, and light will guide you to the ultimate fight. Thank you for watching the first episode of Flames and Games.